subscribe. Hey guys, just did my shoulder workout. Um, I'm gonna make this video as quick as possible. Quick breakdown. I did, uh, I haven't been in the gym in about three, four days because of the new year partying and all that stuff. I did a lot of sinning, a lot of, in reference to bodybuilding, a lot of drinking, a lot of bad things. Anyway, uh, today's workout consisted of, started off with real delts. I noticed a lot of people do that and I understand why, especially Victor Martinez. He has this huge delts, so I kind of took a look at his workouts too. Kind of, you know, filter out what I need. Um, it's good to start off with your real dust because uh, when you stimulate them early, later on throughout the workout, when you're doing military presses or whatever you're doing, they'll still get a little more, you know, a little simulation. Like if you start off doing real dust flies or whatever, you, you know, you stimulate your real dust muscles. Later on when you're doing presses, believe it or not, or side laterals, even though you finish doing your real dust, they'll still get a little bit of the workout as opposed to just doing them at the end, you know. So it's good to just get them started early and then go on to your heavy movements. And plus you don't need, you don't need a lot of energy to do real duff flies anyway. So I started off with the real duff fly machine, did four sets of that. I try to keep my rest periods to 30 seconds to 45 seconds at most, you know, short and intense. After that I went to, I'm doing the gym window thing. I just started today, by the way, thanks to one of my subscribers who actually and it referred me to that and you know I just want to give it a try see how it works you know it doesn't hurt to try new things and you know you get a little bit of experience left and you know, left and right like I said last time so I started off with military presses um, three sets of five according to the window thing um, then after that of course don't forget warm up before I even started my real death flies I had to do my warm up you guys saw it in the other shoulder video my warm up is the same I started off with Five pound dumbbells, I do side laterals, 10 reps, 10 reps front, front raises, 10 reps bent over um, raises, 10 reps on the presses, and I do, you know, this motion for my, you know, rotator cuff. I got that from Brent Warren. Um, and it's good to just, you know, still lift and right and combine it to the perfect routine, you know. But anyway, move back to military presses. I did, uh, I started off warming up too with the ball by itself, just did 10 reps to get the, you know, the rhythm going. Then I started off, uh, like I say, three sets. And um, it's supposed to be three sets of five reps, according to the, the data that, you know, the gym wonder thing calculates for you. But I actually ended up doing three sets of 12 reps. So I guess, you know, I'm, I'm stronger than I thought I was. Um, but that's okay. I'm not going to go back and change the numbers. I'm just going to keep going until I conquer that whole workout. After that, I moved on to, uh, I was supposed to stop right there, but then I just moved on to, you know, um, my own workout. Uh, the next exercise after that was... Uh, side laterals, seated side laterals. I just grabbed 20 pound dumbbells and just, you know, four sets. The reason why I'm going so light with 20 pound dumbbells is because I'm resting only 30 seconds. So four sets of seated, you know, lateral raises. And plus when you're sitting, it's a lot harder. So after that, I did uh, um, front raises on the, on the, how do you call it? Like an incline bench, you know, where you kind of like lean into it, you know, like this. You can do that, they work your front does greatly and it keeps them on the tension. My, my, my uncle does that a lot and it really works out for him and Phil Heath does that, so boom, you know, you got it right there. I did four sets of that using 25 pound dumbbells. I always go a lot heavier when I'm doing front raises and side, side laterals. Then after that, I went down to um, rail delt, um, bent over lateral raises with 20 pounds. Um, four sets of that, 30 second rest in between. Like I say, it's four sets, but you gotta understand, I'm only resting 30 seconds, so I can knock that out within, you know, in less than 10 minutes. Um, after that, I moved on to, uh, what I do after that? Yeah, I moved on to seated, seated isolateral shoulder presses. Uh, like I say, Phil he does that a lot. I, I, I love that exercise, because you can actually go heavy, because, um, you see it, that's one. Two, it's the machine, it's isolateral, so it kind of stabilizes the weight for you. You don't gotta worry about snapping shit up. I did, um, I think just two sets of that one. No, four sets of that one. Started two sets of light, and the next two sets I went, I went really heavy. And after that, I know it's a lot, but when it's shoulder day, I go crazy. Like, shoulders are a stubborn muscle because we work them out so much when you do, when you do bench press and close grip. Bench pressing things like that, you, you're stimulating your shoulders, so they're really resilient. As long as you train them smart and you eat right, they could, hand, they could handle high volume. And um, 
after that, I just did, uh, yeah, that was it. I did shrugs after that, and that was it. Four sets of shrugs, you know, 245s on each side, plus the ball. It's only 225 pounds. I'm not trying to snap shit up, so I just did um, 15 reps, 12 to 15 reps, four sets. And that was it. That's my shoulder workout. And it's working great. See this here, man. It's a little sneak peek. Well, the pump is gone now, but you should have saw me when I was in the gym. Guys were looking at me like crazy, but um, I was hoping there'd be more ladies there. Hit me up with your questions. Like I said, I make videos, so answer all your questions. You just keep them coming, all right?